Also, why demonstrators protested H&M clothing store today. Protesters took aim at a well-known clothing store on Michigan Avenue today. A clerk at H&M is accused of verbally harassing a Filipino woman with racial slurs. As CBS2's Suzanne Lemignot reports, the Asian American Institute has filed a discrimination lawsuit with the city's Commission on Human Relations. They carry signs that say H&M equals hates minorities and H&M discriminates. All because of what allegedly happened to one woman at this Michigan Avenue store. I was saddened by it and I was compelled to be here. I don't know Franny personally, as, you know, as a minority here in Chicago and I have to stand up for my own self. The protesters here want to bring attention to Franny Richards. The Filipino-American nurse was shopping inside this H&M store last month when she was allegedly mocked and harassed by an employee. Called her mail order bride, um, mocked her English. Um, she asked to go to the fitting room. He pretty much was saying, can't you read English? It's over there, fitting room. And um, as she was walking away, he was saying, ching, ching, chong. Richard's family says the alleged harassment was completely unprovoked. She's a U.S. retired Air Force nurse. She works at Northwestern. She's born and raised in Chicago. She speaks English perfectly fine. It's just like really important for like our community to know and like the Asian community and the other minority communities to know that like we can't tolerate this. H&M issued a statement which says in part, as an equal opportunity employer, H&M does not tolerate harassment, discrimination and or violence of any type. H&M is investigating the complaint and also says employees are trained in the company's zero tolerance policy in an effort to ensure that all individuals are treated with respect and dignity. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? No. Richards wants H&M to provide diversity training for their employees and to fire the one that allegedly harassed her. His fate still isn't known. Her family says she has yet to hear back from the company. Suzanne Lumineau, CBS2 News. H&M is refusing further comment on that complaint. Company officials say they are actively investigating.